Hi, this is David Cottingham. It's Peckham Rye on Sunday morning, looking a bit like grey. It's the second day into the 2014 Dulwich Open House Park today. We're going to go and have a look at a beautiful house. And there's the sign confirming it's the artist Open House. This is a beautiful late Victorian pile. Beautiful building. Thank you, too. And the crunchy gravel park. And we're going to go into the artist open house. There's a few rooms to go through, so I'll go quickly. Beautiful hallway. And um, Maggie Wolford, who owns the house, has hung my work everywhere throughout the house. It's a glimpse of the kitchen and dining room. So the first room we're going to go to, having admired a new small painting I did in the entrance hall, we're going to go through into the main living room. And there's the view of the ride through the living room. As you can see, it's rather splendid. Maggie's collected some of my work for a while, so it was an opportunity to, to show more of it together. I'll sweep around the room and you can see there's, there's one abstract in here. But it's mostly the dance work. And there's drawings on the table. Lots of unframed drawings. And um, a big drawing above the fireplace, which is unusual for me to do such a big drawing. Mostly I do big paintings. I mean, we use different frames to show diff different types of ways of framing the drawings. And there's more down on the table there, as you can see. Slightly larger drawings. Beautiful garden glint through the, the window. And that's a, an abstract of the Isle of Skye. I'm just going to go closer in there. Just putting the lights on actually so that you can get a final look at that. It's a sunrise of the Isle of Skye, believe it or not. A lot of gold paint in there, as there is in quite a lot of the paintings in the house. A last look round at this large dancer drawing. She's a classical dancer, almost on point. And then we're going to just walk through. Have a quick look into the dining room. And that sound is the sound of Maggie cooking. Quick glimpse again of the ride through the window. There's another beautiful room and a beautiful mirror. And the light reflected in the mirror. We've got drawings on the table and we've got one more abstract to show you in here, which is Blue Remembered Hills, which I've shown before, but it's always worth a second look. <laughs> Inspired by the painting at the Prayer by Houseman and the Across the hills where Caroline lives, my sister. So that's looking quite good on the wall in there. And then we're just going to go upstairs. A few drawings on the table here, as you can see, drawings everywhere. There's just one more room to go. It's lovely to get the glimpses through into the beautiful garden.
the little drawing at the top of the stairs. The famous model, Letitia, who is a very beautiful model. And uh, at the top of the stairs you'll see one of my sort of outer space paintings, looking quite good with the reflected gold light. It's called Towards the Sun. As you can see, the light waves moving towards the sun. And there's a beautiful chandelier above, which casts a nice light on that. And then we're going to close in on the, the colours. It should look quite good off the back. And into the final room, which is quite a large room, and it's more the abstracts in here. And that's uh, the Waterloo Sunset. We'll just have a quick close in on that one. It's one of the London Light series of paintings. That's called The Sun Rises, named after a poem by John Donne. And the sun is rising off the canvas and spreading light across. I'll just give you a quick view of this quite large room with a big painting surprise coming up at the end. My brother Dudley lives in the island of Bermuda, which is a few hundred miles off the Florida coast, in the middle of the Atlantic. And this is sunrise with rain, Bermuda. It's also called Prospero Star, because as I tell all the visitors, Shakespeare's Tempest was actually based on a story he read about the island and there's some stars in the sky. I'll try and hold this a bit still. And there's actually a, a coastline there with an inlet called Tucker's Point and a big bubbling silver cloud with the sun rising above. It was an extraordinary morning of uh, you get storms rolling in off the Atlantic a long way away. So that's a bigger painting. It's a nice opportunity to, to show for once a very large one. And you can see the light really reflecting off the silver on the on the painting. I'll just do a final sweep around of the room. This is um, quite a new painting. In fact, it's from the London Light series again. You can see the gold. It's uh, nocturne in blue and gold. A slight homage to Whistler, the painter, who founded the Chelsea Arts Club, where I'm a member. And as you can see, there's the shard rising with sun behind and there's a good shot of the reflected light with the river breaking through underneath in a metallic gold blue and there's copper in the sky. It's a dark painting, it just needs good lighting. <laughs> and um, it's final sweep round, seeing more drawings on the table there for the visitors to look at and another look at the Peckham Rye, the rather naughty, sexy drawing at the end here, which Margie owns. Some of the paintings are from her collection. And a final sweep around to see the room. And that's the, the garden. And we'll just end with a, a shot through the window towards the beautiful garden. It's a long green sweep up. And uh, it's been a happy home for the children that live here. And for Marty. So I'll say goodbye on Dunwich Arts Festival, Peckham Rye Artist Open House. I hope you enjoyed the show.